Hello everybody, this is Huub from Huma Air and this is a small instruction video of the Huma regulator tester. Um, the tester will come with a Foster quick fill on the end uh, and it has a, a depressurized screw right here. Okay, so what do you need is of course the regulator, the uh, regulator tester and your scuba tank uh, with high pressure air. Uh, we advise not to use more than 200 bars as input pressure. Okay, you can unscrew the tester in two parts and then you will place the regulator inside the hole of the tester and you can screw it all back on. You don't have to tighten it very hard it will seal on the o-rings so when it's closed it's closed and it's fine then <clears throat> the depressurized screw make sure it is tight not too tight just hand tight is enough and then you can attach your scuba make sure it's tight it has to click and we will pressurize it okay as you can see now um, the regulator set for about 100 bar and most important when you're going to test your regulator is to make sure you uh, depressurize it again and again in the same sequence so with only a few seconds in between because when you shoot your rifle your rifle will always have the same air use uh, with every shot so if you simulate a shot you have to do it exactly the same way just like this Open, close. Okay, that's the way you can test your regulator. Um, when you are finished, uh, depressurize and also open the screw so the pressure is zero. Make sure on the other side your pressure is also. Uh, gone so depressurize your fill set okay um, inside the regulator you can see we have milled a slot and your regulator does have a ventilation hole in it um, with this slot through this slot you can test if there is no air leaking of the hole so you can use a toothpick or anything else with a little drop of soapy water you can place it on top of the the small uh, ventilation hole just to make sure it does not uh, leak any air if it does you need to replace the o-rings okay uh, there is a gauge on top of it the gauge is fitted with an o-ring uh, so the position of the gauge can be uh, more or less uh, set to the best point of view for yourself uh, the o-ring inside is two millimeters so you can twist it I think about half a turn without leaking. Um, I hope this makes something clear for you. Uh, thank you and see you next time.